Blessed is our Father, Lord of heaven and earth, who has revealed these things to the simple. Good evening. I am the Reverend Anne-Marie Nicklin, currently serving uh, St. Mary's Edgerton, which is the beautiful little building that we are in today for uh, celebrating evening prayer. And this is my husband, Owen, who very capably um, helps me so that you don't hear just my voice droning on. Um, this is actually take two, and I'm hoping it works. All of a sudden, my camera clicked out on me, and I'm not sure why. Um, but we will try and make it through a whole service. If not, you will find that the service is in two parts. Um, the reason why we are in St. Mary's, as I said the last time that I posted online, it would be the last time we did um, this service in our house. Um, because we are now able to be on site at St. Thomas, Unfortunately, we're not able to be on site um, as a gathered community at St. Mary's. And so I thought it appropriate that we do the online service at St. Mary's. And I draw your attention to this beautiful stained glass window um, of the Good Shepherd, which anyone who attends St. Mary's, this has a very special spot in, in our hearts. And I thought maybe the familiarity might help us in these days of, of transition and difference. Our opening hymn today is How Firm a Foundation. O God. Christ has shown forth his glory. O come, let us worship. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, mighty Savior, light of all creation, 
You make the daytime radiant with sunlight and to the night give glittering adornment, stars in the heavens. Now comes the day's end as the sun is setting, mirror of daybreak, pledge of resurrection, while in the heavens choirs of stars appearing hallow the nightfall. Therefore we come now, <clears throat> evening rites to offer, joyfully chanting holy hymns to praise you, with all creation joining hearts and voices singing your glory. Give heed, we pray you, to our supplication, that you may grant us pardon for offences, strength for our weak hearts, rest for aching bodies, soothing the weary. Though bodies slumber, <clears throat> heart shall, hearts shall keep their vigil, forever resting in the peace of Jesus, in light or darkness, worshipping our Saviour, now and forever. So our psalm is Psalm 71. Well, Sorry about that. Here, O daughter, consider and listen closely. Forget your people and your father's house. The king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honour. The people of Tyre are here with a gift. The rich among the people seek your favour. All glorious is the princess as she enters. Her gown is cloth of gold. In embroidered apparel she is brought to her sovereign. After her, the bridesmaids follow in procession. With joy and gladness they are brought. And enter into the royal palace. In place of fathers, O king, you, have, you shall have sons. I will make your name to be remembered from one generation to another. Therefore, generations will praise you forever and ever. Glory to the Father, an undivided trinity, one God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So our first reading is taken from Genesis. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has greatly blessed my master, and he has become wealthy. He has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male and female slaves, camels and donkeys. And Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master when she was old and he has given him all that he has. My master made me swear, saying, You shall not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I live, but you shall go to my father's house, to my kindred, and get a wife for my son. I came today to the spring and said, O Lord, the God of my master Abraham, if now you will only make successful the way I am going, I am standing here by the spring of water, that the young woman who comes out to draw, to whom I shall say, Please give me a little water from your jar to drink. And he will say to me, Drink, and I will draw for your cam camels also. Let her be the woman whom the Lord has appointed for my master's son. Before I finished speaking in my heart, there was Rebecca, coming out with her water jar on her shoulder. And she went down to the spring and drew. I said to her, Please let me drink. She quickly let down her jar from her shoulder and said, Drink and I will also water your camels. So I drank, and she also watered the camels. Then I asked her, Whose daughter are you? She said, The daughter of Bethel, Nahor's son, whom Melcha bore to him. So I put the ring on her nose and the bracelets on her arms. Then I bowed my head and worshipped the Lord, the blessed, the blessed, the, and blessed the Lord, the God of my master Abraham who had led me by the right way to obtain the daughter for my master's kinsman, for his son. Now then, if you'll deal loyally and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, so that I may turn either to the right hand or to the left. And they called Rebecca and said to her, Will you go with this man? She said, I will. So they sent away their sister Rebecca and her nurse along with Abraham's servant and his men, and they blessed Rebekah and said to her, May you, our sister, become thousands of myriads. May your offspring gain possession of the gates of their foe. Then Rebekah and her maids rose up, mounted the camels, and followed the man. Thus the servant took Rebekah and went his way. Now Isaac had come from Berlehi Ra and was settled in the Negev. Isaac went out in the evening to walk in the field, and looking up, he saw camels coming, and Rebekah looked up, and when she saw Isaac, she slipped quickly from the camel and said to the servant, Who is the man over there? 
walking in the field to meet us. The servant said, It is my master. So she took her veil and covered herself, and the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent. He took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You are precious in my sight, and I love you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. So our second reading is taken from Romans. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now, if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good. But in fact, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells within me, that is, in my flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do is, is not, the evil I do, I do not want, is what I do. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. So, so I find it to be the law that when I want to do what is good, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inmost self, but I see in my members another law at war with the law of my mind, making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from the body of death? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with my mind, I am a slave to the law of God, but with my flesh, I am a slave to the law of sin. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy, you have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm. And scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones. And lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things. And sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel. To remember the promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors. To Abraham and his children forever. Glory to God, a source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our Gospel Graduate today is, I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say.
and also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you've hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no, and, sorry, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal.